today I want to talk to you about three things to remember and three things to do to feel more confident in your skin, to feel more confident when you're in social settings, when you're meeting new people, when you're just out and about. Let's jump right into it. So before we get into the tips and the knowledge, I just want to let you know that it's okay. It's okay not to feel confident all the time. So it took me very long um, to ever leave my house without makeup on and feeling fine about it. Like it was only, it's February now, um, it was only in August when I started to leave my house without makeup on because I was like, I am sick of this. I don't want to wear makeup all the time. I don't want to feel like I, I have to hide. I want to be like social and meet people and not worry about my skin. And so in August, I just started to you know, practice these things and practice feeling more confident in my skin and that's kind of where it all started. So I want you to realize that, first of all, you're not alone. Um, everyone feels this way, like everyone has their insecurities, everyone. I know that it sometimes feel like you're alone and you're the only person, but you're not. Um, and I have for sure been there, okay? I have been there and I know how it feels and I'm here to help you and I want to help you. Um, because you don't, I know that um, just because like acne and acne scars, hyperpigmentation, it's very, very visible. As you can see, like it's very visible for me too, but that doesn't mean that you have to feel uncomfortable with it all day, every day. Um, there are still places where I won't go without makeup on. Um, I now don't really wear that much makeup anymore. I still wear makeup to work because I don't feel confident going there without makeup on. And that's, it's, it's just fine. It's just how it is. So the first thing I want to talk about, like I said, is three things to remember, you know, three things to remember how to feel on how to feel more confident on how to meet new people and all that stuff when you have acne and scars. Um, so the first thing I want you to remember and to realize is that confidence is a muscle and confidence has to be earned. So no one can give it to you. Um, and this is something I wish it was different. I wish there was like bibbidi bobby de boo and you could like feel fine in your skin. But the thing is you're gonna have to earn it. And how do you earn confidence? Through taking action and through doing things that actually scare you. Um, I know it's not the answer you wanna hear, but when you do things that scare you, that builds up your confidence. So when you're scared of leaving the house without makeup on, if you're scared to go swimming, um, if you wanna feel more confident, these are the things that you're gonna have to do just because that builds up that confidence muscle. You can't expect to just from one day to the next feel fine and feel confident if that has never been the case. Like the same thing when you go to the gym, you can't expect to lift like, a, I don't know, like a 500 pound dumbbell. I know this doesn't exist, but just as an example, you can't expect to lift like a super heavy weight if you've never done it before. So you're gonna have to like start small with the baby steps. Um, if it's like, just going to the ATM and trying to like not hide away or if it's just putting on a little bit of coverage you know just baby steps and doing things that scare you and realizing that you're gonna have to earn it like no one can give it to you and be like here's your confidence you're like it's gonna have to be you and it's not the pretty answer it's not the nice answer I want to give you but confidence is a muscle and confidence has to be earned the second thing I want you to remember is that just because you are hyper-focused on your skin doesn't mean that other people are. Just because you're hyper-focused and you're noticing your pimples or your scars or like, I don't know, your belly rolls or whatever it is, just because you are so hyper-focused on your flaws and your imperfections doesn't mean that other people are. Um, and I tell this people all the time when they're like, oh, I'm so worried people are gonna stare at me I'm like, they're not probably, they probably won't notice. Just because you are so focused on it doesn't mean other people are. Like no one goes around scanning other people's faces and bodies for their imperfections. Like no one talks to you and looks at you and is like, okay, let me find her like insecurity and stare at it. You know what I'm saying? So no one really does that. Just because you are hyper-focused on your acne, on your scars, on your hyperpigmentation, on your insecurities doesn't mean that other people are too. Number three, third thing I want you to remember is that other people's opinion of you doesn't matter. It does kind of matter, but it doesn't really matter. So the thing is, what other people thought of us 
and our tribe and what our tribe, you know, as in other people, um, what they thought of us used to help us survive. That is not the case anymore. So back in like the cavemen, cavemen? Like, you know, back when we were cavemen, I think that's the word. Um, when your tribe didn't accept you and like kind of, um, you know, pushed you away and all that stuff, that meant we would die. Okay, so, but that's not really the case anymore. So, but now that instinct is still in us and we still want other people to accept us, but now what other people say to you, what other people think about you, what other people, um, how other people feel about you, what they do has nothing to do with you. And I need you to kind of separate yourself from that. So you're here, other people are right here and whatever they're saying or staring or blabbering has nothing to do with you because they have their own stuff going on. So they might be going through something similar. They might have a bad day and that's why they're rude. They're, the, whatever they're doing has nothing to do with you and this took me so long to realize. Um, but I, that's something I want you to like keep remembering in those situations is that what other people do, say, feel, whatever has nothing to do with you and their opinion of you that ha has nothing to do with you and it does not determine your worth. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's jump into the three things I want you to do to feel more confident, to um, feel better in social settings, to feel better meeting new people when you have acne and scarring. Okay? So number one, first thing to do uh, to feel more confident in social settings is whenever you go out, whenever you like plan to do something, before you do that, get yourself in a better mood. Blast some happy music and dance around in your underwear if you have to. Um, cuddle with your puppy, tell yourself nice things, like whatever gets you in a better mood and like lifts that energy up, do that before you go outside because when you are about to leave, you're ready to leave, whatever, and you look in the mirror and then you, you like get down on yourself again and tell yourself all these nasty things that your ego likes to tell you and like you like hearing like, oh my God, you're so gross. Like when you do that, of course you're not gonna feel that confidence. So do your best before you go out, before you like leave the house to like lift this energy up. Number two, the second thing to do to feel more confident in your skin is when you're out and about, do your best to be present, to be in the moment, to get out of your head and back into your body because you're so much in your head, um, you forget to like enjoy the moment. But what happens is when you enjoy a moment, when you're just with your friends, you're laughing, you're having fun, the last thing on your mind will be your skin. And I know this is easier said than done, but also this is practice. This comes with time. So just do your best to be in the present moment, to look around you. You can do this um, through like, I don't know, like counting things that you see, that you smell, that you can feel, or like just, I don't know, just like bringing yourself back into your, your body and back into the present moment instead of like being so focused on what's gonna happen or what did happen. Just do your best to enjoy the moment because when you do that, the last thing on your mind will be your skin. And number three is when you are out and about in social settings and you feel yourself getting stressed out, you feel, um, anxious, you feel those negative thoughts coming, just take a second, take a breather. First of all, fix your body posture because what we do is when we feel kind of anxious and stressed and sad and all these things, like we kind of slump like this, do your best first, like fix your body posture and take a breather. Okay, just take a few deep breaths and get yourself back again into the present. And then instead of holding on to these negative thoughts that come up, instead of holding on to them and making them worse and worse and worse, because we all know it doesn't stay, like we don't stay in that one negative thought. It kind of, you know, there's a stream of other things coming. Like it doesn't stay on, oh my God, he's staring at my skin. It goes from that to like, eventually I will die alone, you know? Like, so don't hold on to that thought, but kind of try to let it float away. Like you can imagine it like as a balloon, like floating away or as a dark cloud in the sky. Um, floating away. So don't hold on to that, but just kind of let it pass because negative thoughts, they will always come, but you don't have to hold on to them. So do your best to just like let them, let them float away into thin air. And then another thing you can do is replace them with something positive. List things you love about yourself and don't tell me there is nothing. Yes, there is. Don't be so mean to yourself. List things you love about yourself. List something that you're looking forward to. Um, think about someone you love, you know, it's just kind of trying to replace 
that negativity and that anxiety with something more positive. Okay, that's it for today's video and I hope this really helped you. Um, if it did, please let me know in the comments below and just also on my Instagram, come hang out with me on Instagram because that's where I hang out. So if you like this video, um, come hang out with me on Instagram. But just remember that confidence is something that unfortunately for most of us doesn't happen overnight. But like my beautiful banished mirror says, which I'm gonna get, hold on a second. It's next to my bed. Like my beautiful banished mirror says, face the world with confidence. Confidence though is a muscle. But if you have this, you can like keep this in your purse. I legit keep this on my nightstand um, just because I like to repeat positive affirmations in it in the morning. You can like put this somewhere wherever you see it and then you can look at this and be like, face the world with confidence. And it's just kind of, a, it's, it's a nice reminder. So it's really cute. I like these little mirrors. They all have different sayings, so that's really cute. Um, but yeah, just remember that confidence doesn't happen overnight and it's gonna have to be a practice. Like just doing something just once is not gonna change much. So you're gonna have to do these steps over and over and over and over and over again for the rest of your life. Um, but eventually it will be, it will be, um, get more easier um, and it will come more natural to you. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Again, don't forget to come hang out with me on Instagram and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.